Hey guys, it's Elise and welcome back to My Cupcake Addiction. Today we're going to be making pineapple cupcakes, but because this is My Cupcake Addiction, they're not just going to taste like pineapples, they're going to look like pineapples. I love these guys, they're perfect for summer, over the top and incredibly delicious. For your cake batter today, you're going to need some eggs, flour, you're going to need some butter and some sugar, a little bit of vanilla, a bit of whole milk and some oil. For a pineapple compote today, I've got a tin of crushed pineapple and a little bit of caster sugar. And for my decorations, I've got some of our perfectly pineapple buttercream frosting, which I've tinted a nice bright yellow. I've got some long chocolate sprinkles and I've got some green candy melts. You're also going to need a cupcake tray and I've lined mine today with some yellow cupcake liners. I'm going to leave all of your measurements, quantities and conversions on the MyCupcakeAddiction.com website so you can head over there if you want the printable version of today's recipe. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get our pineapple compote going because that's going to take a little bit of time. So I'm going to take around half the can but it doesn't have to be exact here of just the crushed pineapple mixture and just place it onto that napkin so the napkin can start absorbing the excess moisture. The rest of it is going to go into a sauce, but now you can take your small amount of caster sugar and we're just going to sprinkle that over the top. You just want to give it a little stir through, pop the burners on to a medium heat and we're going to just let that simmer. It's going to take about 10 or 15 minutes. Now, time for the mix. Take your butter and that should be softened at room temperature, but not melted. Add in your sugar and then we're going to pop in our three eggs. Olive oil and your vanilla and then we're going to mix that through till it's really light and fluffy. Once that's all mixed together, we're going to add in our flour. Make sure your flour is sifted so you get a lighter, airier cupcake and also our milk. Starting on a low speed so I don't end up with a massive dust storm. Now prior to this, it doesn't really matter how much you mix that batter, but once you've added your flour, you don't want to overmix here or you're going to overdevelop those gluten. Once that flour has gone in, it's like a 30 second mix max. And then we're going to add in our pineapple, which should be relatively dry and just give it a quick mix through. And I'm just going to take even amounts of the mixture. Now be careful here, you definitely don't want to overfill your cupcake liners. So I'm only going to go about two thirds of the way full in each of them. And this recipe is going to make enough for 10 complete pineapples, which is actually going to be 20 individual cupcakes. So those guys are ready to go off into a moderate oven and they're only going to take between 12 and 14 minutes to cook. While those ones are in the oven, I'm going to check on the compote. You'll know that your pineapple compote is completely done when there's no liquid left in the pan. Now we're going to melt some green candy melts and I'm going to add coconut oil. You could also use something like a Kofa or a Crisco and that's just going to help to thin them out and make them more fluid. I've got those over a double boiler, but as soon as the water in that pot starts to boil, I'm going to turn it off and just let the heat from the steam melt my candy melts. So when your candy melts are really, really nice and fluid, you want some small sheets of either wax paper or baking paper. Take about a half a teaspoon of candy melt I'm going to pop it straight in the centre of that piece of baking paper. Basically, I'm going to take the back of the spoon and I'm just going to sort of swipe it up, making a nice long piece of chocolate that tapers off into a bit of a point at the end. I've got some little paper towel rolls that I've cut and I'm just going to pick it up and pop it inside, which is going to make it sort of set in that nice little cradled angle. Now, when you're making these, you're going to need about three large, three medium and a couple of small just to go on each and you're going to need about seven of these per cupcake. You can set those ones in the fridge and they're not going to take very long at all to set because they're really nice thin candy melt. So after 14 minutes our cupcakes are done and you'll know that they're done when they spring back when you lightly touch them on top. I'm just going to take them out and you want to rest them on a cooling rack or a chopping board or something like that straight away because if they start to sweat in those cupcake pans then you risk having the wrappers start to come away from the cupcakes. Once your cupcakes have had a little bit of time to cool, pour out a little bit of a hole from the bottom cupcakes. Now I'm going to take a teaspoon of our pineapple compote and I'm going to really kind of shove it down into that hole. I want it to be quite tightly down into that cupcake and that's going to give it the really pineapple-y flavours. Perfect. Now onto that frosting. So I'm just going to use the back of my knife and I'm just going to pop a nice amount of frosting on. You'll notice I'm supporting the cupcake wrapper with my hands. That's to make sure that I'm not kind of like bowing it out or having it come away from the cupcake and, you, and then take one of your other cupcakes and you can unwrap it and upside down on top. You want to do that to all of your cupcakes and then we're going to pop them off into the freezer for about 10 or 15 minutes so they get really nice and firm and that buttercream sets beautifully. I'm going to take my sharp knife now and I'm just going to just gently kind of carve around the top just making it a little bit more rounded in shape. 
and it should be quite easy to carve because it should be partially frozen or even almost fully frozen. So you should have a nice sort of a, a firm carving surface. Just be really careful when you're cutting this. Make sure that you're cutting away from yourself because especially when you're working with semi-frozen things, it can be kind of easy to slip. All right, now we're gonna cover them with some frosting. For this one here, you're gonna do a very light crumb coat first. So you should be able to see through it and this is just to pick up any crumbs and any excess. Because your cupcakes are cold here, that frosting should start to firm up as you frost up your next ones. And then we'll come and put the actual proper, nice, neat coat of frosting on top. Perfect, now I'm gonna come back to number one and that little crumb coat should have started to set. So now I'm gonna put kind of a bit of a thicker coat that should completely cover the outside of my pineapple and it should meet up really nice and flush with that cupcake wrapper at the bottom. All right, once I'm happy with my coverage, I'm just gonna make sure that it's kind of smoothish and don't worry about there being a little more frosting than usual because remember, we're frosting two cupcakes here. I'm happy with the shape, I'm happy with the look and now I'm gonna take the knife and I'm just gonna go around and just kind of almost spike it up, but be careful if you expose any cake underneath, you just kind of want to cover it back up again. All right, now because pineapples have always got those little tiny spikes, that's what we're gonna use our little brown kind of chocolate sprinkles for. And don't go too crazy here. I just put in like three at a time in little random intervals. Don't try to put too many because you'll overcrowd it, but it'll also take you like hours. So I put in maybe like five or 10 of these little patches around the outside of the cupcake. Once all of your sprinkles are in place and you wanna get these out of the fridge just before you're ready to pop them in because they are gonna melt pretty quickly being so thin, but just for the bigger ones, just around the outside, I wanna make a couple of guide holes just to help me slide them in a little bit easier. So I'm gonna choose some of my larger little curls and I'm gonna pop them in. As I slide them in, I wanna keep my fingers right down the base and I wanna apply even pressure because that's gonna minimize the risk of snapping them. And then once you've got your little outer ring, then you wanna grab some slightly smaller ones, so some of your medium sized ones, and you just wanna kind of like fill it in. So I used between five and seven for each of my pineapples, but really you're just going by eye here, whatever you think looks best. I cannot even begin to tell you how excited I am about these. These were actually a request from some of my Instagram followers when I asked you guys what you wanted to see for summer. So I hope you guys enjoy what I came up with. If you're not already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do for two new videos every week. Find an occasion to make these awesome pineapple cupcakes for because they're just gorgeous. And as always guys, thanks very much for watching.